In el nombre del Padre, del Hijo e dello Spirito Santo. Amen. La paz y el amor de Dios, nuestro Padre, que se han man manifestado en Cristo, nacido para nuestra salvación, estén con todos ustedes. As we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ. We pause to bless this Christi Christmas manger scene. The practice of erecting such mangers was begun by St. Francis of Assisi as a means to set forth the message of Christmas. When we look upon these figures, the Christmas gospel story comes alive, and we are moved to rejoice in the mystery of the incarnation of the Son of God. Let us pray. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us and Savior of all and who lives and reigns forever and ever.
oremos, Señor Dios, que hiciste resplandecer esta noche santísima con la claridad de Cristo, luz verdadera, con, concede a quienes hemos conocido los misterios de esa luz en la tierra, que podamos disfrutar también de su gloria en el cielo. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian, for every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment, and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a Tito Querido hermano, la gracia de Dios se ha manifestado para salvar a todos los hombres y nos ha enseñado a renunciar a la irreligiosidad y a los deseos mundanos para que vivamos ya desde ahora de una manera sobria, justa y fiel a Dios, en espera de la gloriosa venida del gran Dios y Salvador, Cristo Jesús, nuestra esperanza. Él se entregó por nosotros para redimirnos de todo pecado y purificarnos, a fin de convertirnos en pueblo suyo, fervorosamente entregado a practicar el bien. Palabra de Dios.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Por aquellos días se promulgó un edicto de César Augusto que ordenaba un censo de todo el imperio. Este primer censo se hizo cuando Quirinio era gobernador de Siria. Todos iban a empadronarse, cada uno en su propia ciudad. Así es que también José, perteneciente a la casa y familia de David, se dirigió desde la ciudad de Nazaret en Galilea a la ciudad de David, llamada llamada Belén, para empadronarse juntamente con María, su esposa, que estaba encinta. Mientras estaban allí, le llegó a María el tiempo de dar a luz, y tuvo a su hijo primogénito. Lo envolvió en pañales y lo recostó en un pesebre, porque no hubo lugar para ellos en la posada. En aquella región había unos pastores que pasaban la noche en el campo, vigilando por turno sus rebaños. Un ángel del Señor se les apareció, Y la gloria de Dios los envolvió con su luz, y se llenaron de temor. El ángel les dijo, No teman, les traigo una buena noticia que causará gran alegría a todo el pueblo. Hoy les ha ha nacido en la ciudad de David un Salvador, que es el Mesías, el Señor. Esto les servirá de señal. Encontrarán al niño envuelto en pañales y recostado en un pesebre. De pronto se le unió al ángel una multitud del ejército celestial que alababa a Dios diciendo, Gloria a Dios en el cielo y en la tierra, paz a los hombres de buena voluntad. The Gospel of the Lord.
Everyone loves a baby. Babies universally generate incredible joy in every heart simply because they happen to be babies. They stimulate sheer delight in their parents just by playing with their toes. Babies can send their grandparents into total ecstasy by merely flashing them a toothless grin. Everyone loves a baby. Moreover, today most of the world seems to be especially in love with the homeless baby boy born two millennia ago in a stable surrounded by barn animals and resting in a manger. Even the local shepherds came by to see this newborn. Everyone loves a baby. Nevertheless, every baby may also have an occasional moment every now and then when they might not be very endearing. For example, when they noisily demand attention at four o'clock in the morning because they may be colicky, wet, or hungry. And young parents at that hour may be very sleepy. Babies eventually do tend to become toddlers, who then learn to repeat that singular foremost word in their vocabulary, no. Babies subsequently do become teenagers and they bring with them growing pains. They seem to be growing and their parents are in pain. Babies do mature and they trade in that almost universal charm for the adult characteristics that we all know so well. Nevertheless, everyone loves a baby because babies provoke hope and optimism and they remind us all of an innocence that has inevitably escaped from all of our lives. The humble baby boy born 2,000 years ago was like all other babies who may have been born throughout the world during human history. He brought much joy to Mary and Joseph, and in time, he also displayed all of the characteristics that other youngsters demonstrate. For example, when he got lost on a family trip to Jerusalem and caused those worried parents much anguish. However, everyone loves a baby. However, this particular baby, born in Bethlehem, offers more than simply happy memories. He renews life itself if we learn to love him in all of the various stages of his growth and of his development. It is, however, in his manhood that we find the greatest challenges to loving him, as is usually the case with all babies who eventually lose their infant charms. The baby boy who was born in Bethlehem would eventually courageously preach a gospel that shook the roots of the religious authorities of his time and of our own time as well. We must love him in those moments as well. He would be bloodied and beaten before his cruel death, and we must love him then as well. He would die as a public criminal and a victim of capital punishment, and we must love him at that time too. Everyone seems to be able to love a baby. However, our love for them must accompany every baby 
throughout the years of their growth and of their development. Most especially during all those moments when they unavoidably manage to lose their infant allure. While it may be easy to love a baby, the baby born in Bethlehem today invites us not just to love him, but to love one another in all of the other moments that inevitably follow infancy. Christmas happens to be a singular moment when the entire world pauses to honor that baby boy born in Bethlehem. But Christmas is a short-lived feast, almost as brief as infancy itself. This holy day, therefore, has to point to the days that follow Christmas, during which we must also embrace and accept each other as precious in God's eyes. As this baby boy grows, he reminds us at each stage of his development into manhood that he is to be loved and that those who believe in him are called to love each other as an expression of our love for him. It's easy to love a baby, but much more challenging to love those who are no longer babies, but also cherished in the heart of the eternal father of that baby born 2,000 years ago to remind us all of that simple truth. We will miss the deepest meaning of Christmas if we think it's only about loving a baby boy born 2,000 years ago. For Christmas is just the beginning of a love that we must have not only for this baby, but for all those that this baby would eventually call the least of his sisters and brothers, and for all those of us who stand in awe, looking at an infant who offers hope and joy for all the world to behold. Merry Christmas, dearest brothers and sisters in the Lord. Everyone loves a baby, and we are called in his name to love everyone else who may no longer be innocent, cute, adorable, or even cuddly, but loved nonetheless by the Father whose love we know is everlasting. Amen. We join the church throughout the world in offering this prayer of faith. I believe in one God, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. And he came down. Crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Breaking forth to shatter the darkness, the resplendent light of Christ's birth fills the earth with rejoicing. As we gather to praise and thank God, let us also offer these prayers for those in need. el pueblo de Dios para que anuncien con alegría el nacimiento de Cristo. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. For peace in the world especially in U Ukraine, and all areas of conflict, and that every people may come to know Christ, the Prince of Peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Por los pobres y oprimidos, por inmigrantes y refugiados, y por todos los que sufren, para que brille sobre ellos la luz de Cristo. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie for all who have died in the peace of Christ, that they may be reborn in the life of the risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie Gracious God, your love knows no limit, your compassion no end. Hear the prayers we make as we celebrate your most perfect gift, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Te rogamos, Señor, que la ofrenda de esta festividad sea de tu agrado, para que Mediante este sagrado intercambio, lleguemos a ser seminantes aquello, aquel por quien nuestra natu naturaleza quedó unida a, tu a la tuya, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may, be, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, with our auxiliary bishops, and with Don, Donald World, our retired Archbishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Let me eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, to command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Amen. 
Oremos. Señor Dios nuestro, que nos has concedido el gozo de celebrar el nacimiento de nuestro Redentor, haz que después de una vida santa, merezcamos alcanzar la perfecta comunión con Él, que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. May God, who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. May God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.